The Brave Little Bunny Once upon a time, in a lush green forest, there lived a brave little bunny named Benny. Benny was unlike any other bunny in the forest. Unlike his peers, who spent most of their time eating carrots and lounging in the sun, Benny loved to explore the unknown parts of the forest. One day, while Benny was wandering deep into the forest, he heard a terrible scream. Curious, he ran towards the source of the noise. As he got closer, he saw a group of little birds huddled together on a branch, looking scared. Benny asked the birds what happened, and they told him that a sly fox had come to take them away. The fox had promised the birds he would take them to a beautiful garden with plenty of food to eat. But as soon as they had flown with him, the fox turned his back and snatched them up one by one. Without a second thought, Benny sprang into action. He hopped over to the fox's lair and began to chew through the rope that held the birdcage. As he worked, the fox appeared and snarled at Benny. Get out of here, bunny. These birds are mine. The fox growled. But Benny was not afraid. He continued to gnaw away at the rope until it fell apart. The little birds flew free and scattered in different directions. The fox lunged at Benny, but the little bunny dodged and darted around the fox. Benny was fast and nimble, and soon he had the fox running in circles. Exhausted, the fox gave up and ran away. Benny felt proud of himself for saving the birds, and the little birds thanked him for his bravery. From that day onwards, Benny became a hero in the forest. Whenever anyone needed help, they knew Benny was the one to call. And so, the brave little bunny continued to explore the unknown and help those in need. Benny had discovered that there was much more to life than just eating and lounging. The Lion King's Dilemma Once upon a time in the heart of the African savanna, there lived a great lion king named Simba. Simba was loved and respected by all the animals in the kingdom, for he was a just and fair ruler. One day, while taking a stroll through his kingdom, Simba came across a group of young lions. They were all malnourished and looked weak. Simba was saddened by their condition and asked them what had happened. The young lions replied that their parents had been killed by a group of hunters who had come to the forest in search of prey. The hunters had killed many of the animals and had taken away their parents as trophies. Simba was enraged by this news and decided to take action. He gathered all the lions in his kingdom and made a plan to attack the hunters. They knew it was a risky move. But they were ready to do anything to protect their families. On the night of the attack, the lions crept up on the hunters and pounced on them. The battle was tough and brutal, but the lions had the advantage of surprise and their fierce courage. After the hunters were defeated, Simba and his council of lions had a dilemma. They knew that the hunters would come back for revenge, and they also knew that they needed to protect their kingdom. So they decided to send a delegation to the nearest human settlements to negotiate a peace treaty. It was a tough decision. But the lions knew that it was important to protect their families and their home. In the end, the peace treaty was successful, and the lions and humans were able to coexist peacefully. Simba was proud of his decision and knew that it was the right thing to do. He had not only protected his kingdom, but he had also shown compassion and wisdom in dealing with the case. From that day on, the lions in the kingdom knew that they could count on their king to protect them and keep them safe. And all the animals in the savanna lived happily ever after. The Mischievous Monkey Brothers In the heart of the jungle lived two monkey brothers named Max and Milo. They were both mischievous and loved to play pranks on other animals. One day, while swinging from tree to tree, they stumbled upon a nest filled with juicy ripe mangoes. Without thinking, Max and Milo quickly grabbed all the mangoes and took off. However, their joy was short-lived when they were caught by a pack of furious monkeys who claimed the mangoes were rightfully theirs. Max and Milo tried to argue, but it was no use. The pack wanted revenge. The pack leader, a massive gorilla, demanded that Max and Milo perform a task as punishment for their theft. They had to retrieve a rare fruit from deep within the jungle. In return, the pack would forgive them and let them keep the mangoes. 
Max and Milo reluctantly agreed and set out on their journey. As they made their way through the jungle, they encountered many dangers, including raging rivers and fierce predators. But they persevered, using their cunning and quick wits to overcome obstacles. Finally, they reached the spot where the rare fruit grew, but to their surprise, it was guarded by a massive python. Max and Milo knew they couldn't take on the python alone, so they used their wit to come up with a plan. They quickly found a long stick, and with one swift motion, they knocked it into the air. The python struck at the stick, wrapping itself around it and leaving the fruit unguarded. Max and Milo seized the opportunity and snatched the rare fruit. As they made their way back, they were met with cheers and applause from the pack of monkeys. Max and Milo had proven themselves and had earned the respect of the pack. From that day on, they promised never to steal again and became known as two of the bravest monkeys in the jungle. The Mischievous Monkeys Deep in the heart of a dense jungle lived a group of mischievous monkeys. These monkeys were notorious for playing pranks on each other and the other animals in the jungle. One of the most mischievous monkeys was a young monkey named Max Max was always up to something, and he loved causing trouble for his fellow monkeys and the animals around him. One day, Max and his friends decided to play a prank on the wise old owl who lived at the edge of the jungle. They knew that the owl was always proud of his intelligence and knowledge of the jungle, so they came up with a plan to confuse him. They gathered a bunch of colorful leaves and painted them to look like different fruits. Then, they placed them in a hidden spot near the owl's tree and waited for him to find them. As expected, the owl stumbled upon the leaves and was thrilled at the discovery of all these new and exotic fruits. But as he began to eat them, he quickly realized that they weren't real. Angry and embarrassed, the owl flew away in defeat, leaving the monkeys laughing with delight. But soon after, the monkeys realized the error of their ways. They had caused a respected member of the jungle to feel foolish and embarrassed. The monkeys felt terrible about what they had done and decided to make things right. They gathered together and created a beautiful bouquet of flowers, which they brought to the owl's tree as a peace offering. The owl was deeply touched by the monkeys' gesture. He forgave them and thanked them for taking responsibility for their actions. From that day on, the monkeys learned to use their mischievous energy in positive ways. Bringing joy to the jungle instead of causing chaos. The End The Serpent Kingdom In the heart of a dense jungle, there lived a kingdom of snakes ruled by a wise and kind king named Cobra. He was known to be a fair ruler, who always put his subjects first. The kingdom was filled with snakes of different shapes and sizes. Some were tiny and harmless, while others were large and venomous. One day, a group of snakes entered the kingdom, led by a cunning and treacherous snake named Viper. Viper wanted to take over the kingdom. And he knew that the only way to do it was to get rid of Cobra. So, he began to spread lies and rumors about the king. He told the snakes that Cobra was weak and ineffectual, and that he was not fit to lead them. At first, the other snakes didn't believe him, but Viper was very convincing. He even managed to turn some of Cobra's most loyal subjects against him. Soon, the kingdom was divided, with some snakes supporting Cobra, and others siding with Viper. The tension between the two groups grew more and more intense, and it seemed like a full-blown war was inevitable. But just when things were about to spiral out of control, Cobra had an idea. He decided to hold a contest to determine who would be the true ruler of the kingdom. The contest was a simple one. Each snake would have to climb to the top of a tall tree and bring back a golden apple. The first snake to do so would be crowned the king or queen of the kingdom. Both Cobra and Viper participated in the contest, along with many other snakes. The climb was long and difficult, but eventually, one snake emerged victorious. It was Cobra himself. He had managed to reach the top of the tree and get the golden apple. With this, Cobra proved once and for all that he was the rightful ruler of the kingdom. Viper and his followers were banished, and peace was restored to the land. From that day on, 
The snakes of the kingdom lived in harmony, under the wise and just rule of their beloved cobra. The End <laughs>